nothing good about it that he can be extolled. Absolutely nothing good about it. That they have maintained policy solvency is not a function of their ingenuity. Their policy solvency maintenance is because the law says that they are the ones to make policy. It's as simple as that. And because we are law-abiding, we will still go ahead and comply with policy made by an incompetent governor. That is the only difference. They are not policy solvent because they have proven themselves to be, you know, excellent deliverers of their commitments. So I think that there's nothing that the governor, the finance minister can say about the governor today that will save the governor. Indeed, I believe that it's not just the governor who must go. The finance minister, by this statement that he has made, has admitted that he is the architect of what the finance uh, the governor has done, which has destroyed the central bank and destroyed the financial sector. And so, indeed, we must be demanding that the very accountability that we are asking of the governor must be extended to the finance minister. He must equally leave office. We've tried hard to take him out. He managed to survive. And I believe that is why he can sit and utter the kind of things that he's uttering today, admitting glaringly that the central bank is now in cohort with, cent with the government and will print money for the government if government desires more money, because, reportedly, that is a new direction of central banks.